The question of false positives is always a concern because we don't want to inappropriately withhold someone from participation when they really have a normal EKG that's just been read as an abnormal EKG because a person unfamiliar with the Seattle criteria that I've mentioned before, unfamiliar with what pediatric or adolescent cardiac tracings look like. So it's, it's really important that the right people be interpreting that data that we get. The data is no good as, if the person is, doesn't interpret it correctly. That's one of the reasons we've gone to the Seattle criteria and now the revised Seattle criteria. I don't think that a pediatric cardiologist necessarily has to read those. It'd be great if they did, but quite frankly, there's not enough pediatric cardiologists in this country to read all those EKGs. So people trained in reading athletic EKGs are the ones that can do that.